What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And on this week's video, we are going to talk guitar picks and why it's important to have a variety of different types, or at least thicknesses, of picks. Now, a few years ago, I made a video about the top five picks that every guitar player should have. And we're just going to review that really fast because I want you to guys watch this one and not that one. And while you're around, if you dig what's going on, please subscribe and like the video. And make sure to leave me what kind of picks you use down in the comments. Because in that other video, you guys left a ton of comments. And I tried out some of those picks and some of them stuck and some of them didn't. Now, I reviewed a couple of picks that I think every guitar player should have because they kind of serve a different purpose, right? We talked about the Jazz 3, which is your typical shred guitar, right? It was one of the first guitar picks that I ever had. I, I got it really early on in my playing, and if you're a metal player, if you like to play shred, Jazz 3 should be in your arsenal. It's small, it's compact, it keeps your hand really close to the, fr to the bridge so you can palm mute and keep your hand accurate with not a lot of excess movement. So as the years went on, I slowly moved away from the Jazz 3. I started experimenting with other picks, and I moved on to more of a standard size pick. And one of the ones that I really liked was the Dunlop Altex pick. And it pretty, was, pretty much was my go-to pick for a long time. I made that top five pick video back in 2015. And I was talking about it then, and it's, it's been my go-to pick since then, and we talked about using the different thicknesses of this, of a pick, right? If you're playing, again, if you're playing hard rock and metal, you might want a thicker, stronger pick because it's gonna help your attack and it's gonna help your tone. But if you're strumming an acoustic or, or chords or playing something softer that doesn't need that attack, then you might want a more flexible or a thinner pick. And again, those thicknesses are all personal preference, but having the bend, the flexibility in your pick, again, it's gonna come through in your tone. So whether you're using the Jazz 3s or a standard size pick, it's still important to have a variety of thicknesses on your plectrums, right? Because that's gonna come across in your tone and your attack and everything that you play. And it's slowly gonna become part of your sound. Now, in that video, we also talked about some specialty picks, right? You can have the really thick, big drop attack picks, right? Or you can have these, these are sick picks and they're kind of bent and squirrely looking. They kind of seem weird, but if you like to shred, well then these guitar, these picks are actually really nice because just the way they're angled, you don't have to overturn your hand that much. Some people find it comfortable. I kind of didn't, not, not my thing, especially when you start strumming around some chords. I'm a big chord player, regardless of how much distortion I have, and these kind of get hung up on my pick. Just personal preference. Now, these big ass, Drop picks, attack picks, I love these things. They're, I've talked about it before, but um, when it comes to especially practicing, sometimes I'll, many of us have a, a tendency to over-squeeze in the right hand. Right? We just squeeze the shit out of our picks and we see the whites in our knuckles. And that's just too much tension and you should never be, be squeezing that much when you're trying to do anything, especially play guitar. And that goes over to your left hand too, right? If you find yourself really squeezing the guitar, Ease up on the tension, right? Only touch it as much as you get the note that you need to hear out of it. We also talked about not using a pick and using our right hand, right? You should be comfortable with using your fingers as a pick or finger picking, right? Some of you can grow your nails if you're a classical player, right? Nothing's gonna, nothing is gonna beat a little bit of flesh and nail on a nylon string guitar. It sounds phenomenal if you can nail it right. Excuse the pun, sorry. Not on purpose. Now, recently, over at Winter Nam, I was handed a bunch of bags of the new Dunlop Flow Picks. And I have to be honest with you guys, I haven't stopped using them since. I absolutely love the feel, the sound, the attack, everything about the, the Dunlop Flow. And those picks come in a variety of different thicknesses, right? We have your basic 73 here, and then you have something all the way up to this 4.2 monstrosity. And again, it's just really comfortable, regardless of which one I, I'm using. I just like these picks. The one con, I'll be honest with you guys about these picks, sometimes you get a little moisture in your hand, and they can become a little hard to grab, but I've only experienced that less than a handful of times, and it's May, I've been using these picks for about five months, live and in the studio. I, it's not really an issue, but it that can happen if you have ex, excess moisture in your hand. I don't know, man. Put some powder on your hands. But what I really like about the Dunlop Flow Picks is essentially their shape. 
right? They're a little bit smaller. They're not as long as a standard size pick. And obviously they're a little bit bigger than your Jazz 3-Shape. And it's just a really comfortable pick in your hand. And I'm a big fan and I highly recommend it. You guys know I have a bunch of different types of picks. I think they're important to have a variety in your toolbox depending on what you need, right? And you have a Phillips head, a flat head, a bunch of different tools, you should have a bunch of different picks. The Dunlop Flow Picks, new weapon in my arsenal. I haven't stopped using it, right? Because mainly because they come in a variety of the thicknesses. I like the 4.2, the 3, the 2, the 1, all the way down to the 0.73, again, depending on how and what I'm playing. So what do you guys think? Have you, have you tried the Dunlop Flow Picks? Do you like them? Are they comfortable? Or are you still stuck on your Jazz 3s or whatever else you're using? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, let me know what you come up with. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.